<clears throat> Hello there and welcome back to my tying bench once again and I'm going to switch up a little bit this time I'm going to tell you a streamer pattern and this guy is a white zonker pattern that I tie and I posted it on a couple sites a while back and I had a lot of people wanting to ask me how I tied it and what materials I used so I thought I'd give this guy a tie this time around for you so I hope you enjoy seeing this one tied and I'll get this guy out a fresh hook in and get started here the hook I'm using is a partridge CS42 in a size 2 wide gap hook here streamer hook so I'll get that in the vise locked in okay and I'm using a heavy thread today I'm using a Danville 210 denier flat wax nylon so the first thing I'm going to do is start get a thread base down here just going to wrap back just want a thread base this time around before I wrap some lead weight on Okay, we'll wrap that back and we'll snip that tag end off. Cut back a little bit farther here to about the barb. Alrighty, now I'm going to take some 0 0.30 lead wire and I'm going to put about 10 wraps or so on this guy. Okay, okay. Wiggle that end off, and I'll come around and just grab that in and push that down in there. Okay, then I'm going to come up and secure that down a little better with some thread wraps, just like so. Here, go up and down a few times or a couple times, just to secure it down really well. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of head cement bit of glue and put over that just let that soak in here okay alrighty now for the underbody on this fly I'm using a, a crystal chenille and it is a it's called a rainbow color and it's a medium chenille so what I'm gonna do is tie that in here right behind the lid wrap back stop that there secure it down really nice and tight just like so then we'll jump up over top the lead and come up here ways where we want to tie off alrighty now I'm going to uh, simply wrap that nice and tight one wrap right in front of the next here okay jump on top the lead just keep wrapping forward just like so alrighty till we get to where we want to tie this guy off okay and we'll jump come down alrighty one more wrap should be fine okay then we're going to tie him off a couple wraps there Secure them down really well. Come in, I'll snip that off nice and close here. Okay, now the next step, what we're going to do is just take my thread here and I'm just going to make open spiral wraps, three to four, and I want to get back to just about in front of where we start the chino and make a couple wraps right there. That's where I want that thread to hang, right there. Now, for the body, I'm using a, a pearl colored tubing and I got this tubing you can get this tubing at a craft store I bought it at a craft shop and it's really really durable what I like about using it for zonkers you can get it in pearl green red all different colors so I just cut a length here about two to three inches long and I also cut what I do is cut a little slit down in it just about a quarter of an inch on one end it makes it easier when you slide it on for when you get to here to tie it down so what I'll do is slide that on and we'll pinch it there and I'll bring the thread up around nice snug wraps three or four really snug wraps just like so pull her down hard on that okay now the next step the first thing I'm going to do is just trim this off a little bit here and this stuff's really tough so if you got an older pair of scissors that you don't 
Don't want to use your best scissors for cutting this. I got an old pair here, so I'm just going to trim that. Okay, now, next step is to bring in my white rabbit strip here. And I have it sized up for the length pretty close to what I want here. And what you want to do is just pull some of them fibers back. It's easier to wet your fingers and just they'll stay back for you much better. And I'm going to bring that down. We're going to tie that in right on top here. Nice and snug. I'm just going to wet that a little more so I can get in there with those wraps. And I'll put three to four good snug wraps on there. Just check and make sure it's on the top because you want it to stay right on the top. Okay, and the next step I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a hand whip finish here. And I'm going to make three or four whip finish turns on that guy. I want three or four. Secure that down. Okay. Come move my dub and needle and bring that up. Okay, now there's our whip finish. Snug that down nice and tight. If you got a, a large whip finisher, you could probably use that as well. You wouldn't have to do it by hand. Okay, now we'll trim that thread there where we tied down the rabbit strip. Snip that off. Now sort of fold that back out of your way. Now the next step, and this guy, I want to trim that a little bit more before I start. I just got a little bit too long there. I want to trim a little more off that. Whoops. I want the old scissors for that. Stuff's really strong. That's what I like about it. Durable. Now I'll slide that back. Bring my thread in once again. Reattach it. And I'm going to go back to where I left off with the thread before. Snip off that excess. And what you want to do is slide that forward. You come up around with a pinch wrap. And we're going to secure that down. Nice and tight there. Three to four wraps. Okay. Now, I'm going to come around and trim all this off here. Right behind the eye. I want these this excess all trimmed off. And you'll see what I mean by how durable this stuff is. It's even hard to cut. Okay, you gotta get in there. Sometimes I'll use a razor blade too. Just wanna get all those ends cut off. Try these scissors here, they got little finer points on them. Just gotta get in there and get that excess off there. It just takes a little patience. And watch your thread as you're cutting, of course. Where a rotary vice comes in handy, you can turn it and see what you got on the bottom there and whatnot. This just takes a little time here to get those end pieces out. I think I just about got it there, so one more little piece. It's being a little stubborn. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to spin my thread here. I want to cord that up a little bit. Now, we'll just bind that down. Just like so, come back. Okay, there's the body. Now, the next step, I'm gonna tie the uh, hackle in for the collar first here. So I have a white saddle hackle here. And I'm gonna tie this guy in, concave side facing back. Some nice snug wraps here. Just like so. Okay, wrap him down nice and tight. And if you got a little piece of stem there, just snip them out. Okay, now I'm going to begin to wrap this collar on. I'm going to try to stroke those fibers back as I wrap. And I'll usually put on about four wraps, usually. Just like so here. Okay, actually, I think I'll get one more on this guy this time around. So I want to build up a pretty good size hit on him for putting the eyes on. And we'll tie that off with a couple wraps. Secure that down. Just like so. Now I'm going to pull everything back on this guy. And come in and tighten that down. Wrap back. And then I'll come in and snip off this excess hackle here. 
Alrighty, now I want to push down on these fibers like so here with my thumb and I'm going to push them down and back I'm going to wrap back three or four more wraps here okay that's fine that's pretty much what you're looking for there you want you want to look, keep it flat on the top so when I fold over the uh, zonker strip here it'll tie down easier okay next step is to pull this zonker strip over and you want to measure that up right where you want it there so it's got some of the uh, the hide there to tie down okay that's pretty good right there so I'm going to come in and make a wrap over top of that making sure that it stays straight on top and a couple more wraps back I'm just going to check make sure it's on the top that looks fine okay snug that down good and tight now I'll come in and snip off the excess here just like so just wet your fingers and that helps keep that back out of the way alrighty well there's the wing so all we got left to do now so I'm going to wrap that head up here on this guy so I'm going to go back to the front and begin to build the head on this streamer we want to build a good size head on it so we got lots of room for our eyes okay alrighty that looks pretty good there come back just keep building a nice round head on them. Decent size head. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is bring in my whoops, my rip finisher here and do a whip finish on this guy and he'll be a done deal. Alrighty. Now I'll get my whip finisher out here. And we'll do a four or five turn whip finish. Okay, that's fine. Come down. Okay. Now tighten that down good and tight before I trim that off. And come in and snip off that excess. Okay, there we go. Okay, is that just checking to make sure that's still good and focused there? Looks good. Alright. Just looks like it was out of focus there for a minute. Okay, so now the next step is the eyes. Now the eyes. I have some small 3D eyes here. They're silver with black pupas. And what I'll do, this is the eye that I'm using on them here. Not sure how many millimeters it is, but that's small. Extra small, I would say. So I'm going to turn that guy on this side. I just got a couple fibers there. I want to trim out. Turn them on my side first. And I'm going to put a little bit, shot of super glue there. And stick this eye on. On my side first. Try not to get it on my fingers. I want it on the fly, not my fingers. Because you'll be in trouble if you get that on your fingers, that's for sure. Okay, that's about where I want it. Right there, it's one eye. So now I'll turn around this side same deal it's a little bit of super glue there don't need a lot just a tiny drop and this is a gel super glue so you have more time to work with it doesn't uh, set up as fast as Zappa Gap or other types now we'll get this side placed on 
See, I want it lined up the same as the other eye. Okay. Yeah. Just needs to be adjusted a little bit more. Alrighty, that looks pretty good right there, even with the other one. So, now, just check in here and make sure. Just a little bit more. Right there looks better. Okay. Now, let that set up for a second here. Okie dokie. Yeah, make sure you get all this, getting all the fly in here. Okay. Just need to wait for that to dry just a bit. And you can, I tie this in a variety of colors, like the pearl color here in white, and I tied it in red, green, blue. Now I tied it for a small milk bass, but uh, I can also see a, a nice brown or a trout hitting it, hitting it too, so. I'm sure there's a lot of different fish that would hit this guy. Okay, now, that should be good and dry now. Okay, that's set up good there now. So what I'll do next is come in with my, my UV resin here. And I'm using solar res thin here. And what I'm going to do is right on top. I'm going to put some in between the eyes here on top of the head. A little drop like so. And then I'm going to come around right over top of the eyes. Some underneath. Same deal. Come right up over the eyes. Just like so here. Make sure it gets down in the, in the crease there is where you want it. some bubbles in there alrighty now but you don't want any in the eye of the hook if you can help it so now I'm just going to give that guy a spin to even that out check the eye make sure there's any, any eye I'm going to get that out now we don't want that just sort of work it around Okay, one of the easiest ways to get anything out of the eye of the hook is just to take a heckle. And just like so. Alrighty, that's cured up good, so I'm going to hit that with the light. Or excuse me, that's spread around good. And we'll cure this guy up. Takes about 15-20 seconds to get it nice and hard. Okay, just about better there now, I'd say. Okay, that should be pretty good. Alrighty, there we have it. Another size 2 white zonker streamer. Yeah, I just want to check this camera, folks. Just bear with me. I want to, it doesn't seem to be in focus to me, but I'm pretty sure it is. But guess you'll be able to see it better than me but there we go that looks good right there alrighty so like always I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this time around and uh, you can get a chance to tie this streamer up it's a very effective fly and like always I want to thank you very much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that good old subscribe button and throw in a like too if you wish. Or if you have any comments, put them down below. And uh, until next time, happy tying everyone. I shall see you again soon and so long for now folks.